Hello everyone and welcome to Lost in Translation on Manga Special V Tamer Volume 1. That's a messy name. Because I couldn't come up with any funny punny names like uh, Lost in Translation Mon or Lost in Appalachian Mon, which is not as good. So I'm, I don't actually have a name for our manga series. Lost in Manglation Mon. That's not good. Yeah, that's it. Manga? No, Lost in Manga? Lost in Translation Mango. Lost in Translation Book. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello everyone, welcome to Lost in Translation Book. So yeah, we don't actually have a name for this, but this time we're looking at V Tamer Volume 1 which is actually called Disc One on my book. I have all nine of the volumes uh, in actual physical, real copy. They're in Japanese, obviously. Yeah, we got them in Japan. No, this one I didn't. This one oh. I couldn't find in Japan, so I bought it on eBay later. Oh, and I remember you being upset about it. No, I wasn't upset. I got Digimon Next for like $10 for the whole, the whole set, so That's I was what fine. this is. Yeah, this, this, isn't, this isn't Next. But we are covering Next, though. We're covering Next, Next, I think. I'll just go die. No. Next is good, though. It only has four volumes instead of nine. It's just good, die. But it's not as good, I think. But yeah, so I'll just briefly say what we'll be doing. We will be covering this once a month, and for V Tamer, we'll be doing one volume a month. But we may change this on uh, for the other manga series is because we will be doing next. We'll be doing the Cross Wars one because by the time we get to the Cross Wars one, we'd probably have finished Cross Wars. Um, and I do intend to do the App Mon manga because that'll probably be done by the time we get to it. But for now, we're doing one volume a month. And this is all thanks to our Patreon supporters, because we got to that milestone. So I realise we haven't actually introduced herself, and I'm May. And I'm Gabbo, Gabbo, Gabbo! And Jay is Gabbo, that's his new favourite character. First of all, we'll go through a brief synopsis of what happens in the first ten chapters, which make up the first volume. Is that not the whole show? Is that not what we're doing? No, we'll, we'll give our thoughts and stuff. You know, general opinions, stuff like that. Fun stuff. General opinion? General opinion. For chapter one, starts off with Taichi, and we see him, and he has a V-pet, and he's in a tournament, and he's won 100% of his battles. And then he gets kicked out, because people say that his Digimon is hacked. His, well, Dig- his Digimon is like a Vidramon, and it's called Zero Maru. It's very fair. When you look at the tournament organizer, who's just like, this isn't in the game. I don't know what you think you're doing here. Yeah. And Ty's like, but I raised it on my own. Yeah. Then he gets t- transported to the digital world, where he meets his Vidramon, and a Gabamon called Gabo Gabo Gabo. Which Jay thinks looks like the Gab- Gabbo from The Simpsons. When he's introduced in that one panel, he looks exactly the same. Yeah, and I'll, I'll upload that because you sent it. You sent a comparison shot to me, like with the, the Duskmon and Sailor Moon. <laughs> Sailor Duskmon. Yeah. So I'll upload that because it's quite funny. I just haven't gotten around to doing that yet. So they fight a Tortamon, and Taichi learns that they aren't on Fall Island, which has the weaker V Pet Digimon, and they're actually on the continent of Folder, which has stronger Digimon from the Pendulum toy. So, did you understand any of this when you read it? Because you, I have I spoken of this it. before. I know, but I haven't mentioned like the different toys. Did you mention the, the general toy talking that they were doing? Yeah, I got that. Just the, there's a digital one that I don't know about. Oh, because it's a toy that just came out and I don't have. Yeah, and that's completely reasonable. Like he's not saying, "Oh, I have all of them because I'm May." And I uh, know that he's a uh, that pendulum, <laughs> which I actually have. I actually, this is the don't pendulum. bring it out. This is the, I'm raising a Motimon at the moment because no, no one can see it. This is radio. Yeah, this is radio. We should do a video podcast one day. No. So Taichi wins by waiting for Tortamon to strike first and then attacking him. What Tortamon? You never introduced the Tortamon. Yeah, I did. What? They fight a Tortamon and then... Yeah, and I introduced him. Mm, That's why I'm talking about the Pendulum. Not well. Because he's from the first Pendulum. Anyway, Tortamon was also uh, chasing around Gabu, uh, Gabomon. Yeah, and that's why he was injured. And they help him, so they're friends now. Then in Chapter 2, they're going to Holy Angel Castle. and Which is an yeah. objective they only have because when... Taichi got pulled through the Digivice, it said, Welcome to Holy Angel Castle, despite him not being there, so why was it welcoming him to, him to it? I think that might have been, like, not a very good translation. Yeah, it's possible. So I'm going to do some... No, quick... you don't have to. You really don't have to. No, I can do this quickly. I'm telling you right now, you just, you just don't. I'll see if it says Yokoso, if it says... Okay. No, it literally says welcome. Okay. No, it's not a bad, it's not a bad translation that you read. Hold on, wait, um, no, 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 I'm taking this from you. You're, you're confiscating my book? That's very important. Wait, wait, where, where is it? finding your favourite bits. Where is it? Where is it? I'm... No, wait, no, that's not it. It's before that. Oh, is it before? I think it's before that. Oh, no, where is it? Because I found it earlier, too. Oh, no. It's, no, you, no, you've gone oh, it's, past it. Oh, it's on the right-hand side of the page, isn't so it? So you told me about having bad... See, so it's there. You, right there. I'm Gabbo! Yeah. <laughs> 
So Gabo, Gabo, Gabo. Yeah. So yeah, they go to Holy Angel Castle. And there was some Digimon being trained by Liam on there, who is very strict. You mean they're all Agumon with boxing gloves? And it's the the <laughs> cutest thing that they're all Agumon, and they don't. Because the thing I like about V Tame is that the Digimon all have slightly different designs to what we've seen in the anime. Yeah, it's it's they're still cooking them. They're still yeah, because V Tamer came out uh, like before Digimon Adventure, I believe, and just when they were V Pets. So it's the same sort of thing with Common Digimon, which was which came out before this, that a lot of the designs are based off what someone looked at the pixel and said, this is what that looks like. Yeah, and you can see with the anime, they really decided this is the way to go. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure Bergamon looks complete. Bergamon looks so weird on the V-Pet. Like, it's pixels, like, it's got this fat stomach. And I don't know if it's on Bergamon. Oh, no, it's the big, yeah. From yeah. Bergamon, yeah. And so that's what I like about the designs. And Agumon just kind of got this huge head with it's, this tiny look, little body. That's always true. I know, but it's like, it's sort of like chibier because it's got yeah, a rounder face. It's, it's, a lot, it's a lot cuter and a lot smaller. Yeah, and it, that's so cute. And he's and got these little boxing gloves. I don't know what's up with that. And I know apparently he gets them back later. They're so cute. Like in Slater Seasons, that's what Agumons look like. No? I thought you said that they had boxing gloves later. Not that you said that. I've seen pictures of it. Ogumon has like grips on his hand, but not. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, of. he does have grips in Savers. If he shows up in Savers, that is. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, it's not like he's on the poster or anything in your room. Oh, oh my gosh! I do have a poster from Savers on my room. That's right. Whoops. <laughs> anyway, so Taichi challenges Liam onto a fight, and then he says, "I'm not going to fight. I'm going to send out Kuwagamon, who I've trained." And it again shows that. Kuwagamon must be like the... Or it, that seems to be, to be always one of the first things that they fight in the digital world. Yeah, it, it's this interesting thing where you go, well, this because this is before the anime, what parts of this did the anime take? Well, obviously they use? took Tai Chi. No, no, they took Tai, yeah, yeah. And then it's weird that he's alone. I wonder if more kids show up later. Because it's weird that he's alone and obviously they introduce seven more characters in the anime. Um, so rather than changing the... Uh, it, it's slightly, they've really, really changed the way the entire thing works the whole dynamic of the show mm. um and i guess so did they think okay well this is one of the first enemies he fights so it makes sense for him to be fighting at the start or is it random or like edamon is a bad guy as we come forward like is that did they take that from this or was that random or um <laughs> isn't demon a thing which yes one, which one was demon was it from zero two yes uh, demon is one of the bad guys yeah they in, scrapped all two. that stuff yeah so, yeah, the the bright figure appears and then stops them. And then in Chapter 3, it's revealed that it's Holly Angemon who sent him to the Diddle World in the first place. And Taichi wants to punch him. Did we talk about how um, they beat the Kuwagamon? Because Tai and... Uh... Zero are so in tune. Yeah. And they they're really and it's the combination of them and their plans are always really clever. Yeah. It's that thing that's like in Atmon, how that's great. Yeah. And then he's never in Digimon ever. Yeah, no, I <laughs> I do like how they're fighting. It's not just we're going to fight because I believe in you, close his eyes, open the eyes, I have friends. It's more a sort of like a way of like, okay, what are we doing wrong? We're going to stop doing that and we're going to look at the situation. What what's the weak point? How can we get the advantage over the opponent? And it's always thinking about that, and that's something I'm really enjoying in V Tamer so far. I think it's because you can't do that in manga. You just can't have it be like, well, we're friends, so I guess we won. Yeah. You can do it in anime because just the voice actor can yell louder. Yeah. But you can't. You can't do it in the written in the written version. Also, in manga, you have like less pages. Like you have less time to get across a point, so you can't really have you know. You can't build it up you have, to an emotional thing. Yeah, you can't really have a ten minute dialogue of and because we're friends and I believe in you and I I like when it's there's there is strategy to fighting. It's it's mm. nice. So yeah, Tai Chi says, "Oh, you sent me here. I'm gonna punch you in the face," and it's great. And Leomon stops him. And this is probably the longest living Leomon I've ever seen. He's lasted one chapter. <sighs> He'll die later. Oh, I actually don't know if he does. I can't remember. He'll but die I guess, later. I guess the Leomon count is on. So Holly Angemon asks him to stop Demon. And then Otonosama Gekomon says that he doesn't like this idea. And then he and Zero Maru fight. Taichi wins by making Zero Maru drop the chandelier on him. He, no, he doesn't drop it on him. He drops it and the Gekomon goes... <laughs> That won't work. I'll step out of the way. But it hits the ground, and the noise from the chandelier breaking is so loud, it breaks the samurai tone yeah. that he was thinking. And that was how Zero got in to win. Yeah. So it's so it's ta- even it's even going one step further rather than just, oh, look, it's something clever. It's, I did something that could be clever. My opponent countered it. But, ah, I was double clever. Mm. And I like that. It's me now, sort of thinking outside of just... 
I fire the bigger shot and I win. But that, 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 I have a strategy. It initially appears to not work or it's, or it is counted, and then the real strategy shows up, has never happened in Digimon. Ever. There have been creative solutions, but those yeah. creative solutions have always been instantly instantly victorious. Yeah, no, you have a point. I don't think even... Maybe... I'm trying... I think Atmon might have done that, no. but I can't actually remember when. In, in Atmon, I can't think of a single time where they've gone, we found the answer through Google searching, or we used our, our powers in some way, and it didn't work. It's always, fight? That didn't work. Okay, now we'll use our power, and we did it with a clear other way yeah and i think this is, this is something that happens a lot in in v tamer and we'll cover all the other fights and stuff as well because they're all reasonably interesting yeah what's important and what i recommend out of this is for everyone to go watch jojo's bizarre adventure or read it because th- that sort of core uh what's it called that sort of shonen um story arc per per combat yeah. is is drawn out further and is much more clever every time yeah and it's much more interesting and over the top. Like, this one's great, but, yeah. like, the JoJo one is hilarious and stupid and insane. It's great. You should... So, it's JoJo's Bizarre V-Tamer. It, it, it has it has the sense of it a little bit, yeah. Mm. No, no, that's interesting. I've, I haven't read You JoJo. should. I have them. <laughs> All I know about JoJo is that... Look, I always thought, because I only have heard about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure in the last, like, couple of years, I thought it was a new thing. But no, when I bought my Pocket Station, it had JoJo's Bizarre Pocket Station game oh, it's on it. from the 90s. Yeah, so like, oh, this is a lot older than I thought. I just thought it was, like, this fairly recent, like, recent new anime, but apparently it's been li- it's been there for ages, yeah. so. They're on to the ninth series of it now. Jeez. Damn, it is not on Crash. <laughs> so Can't chap- stop do wang. <laughs> Chapter 4 starts off with Gabamon explains they need the five tamer tanks to get to Demon's castle. Wait, I've got one more. you got more? The spaghetti looks suspicious. What? So, because in JoJo, every, like, just, whatever, stuff, a lot of stuff can be an enemy stand, like the, the enemy thing with powers. Mm. And, like, one of them is a, like, a, a power plug that is, like, on the wall, but it gets placed in weird spots yeah. so that you are tempted to go look at it and touch it. Like, yeah. it's on a rock. And they're like, what's this power thing on a rock? So, in part 4, there's a bit where they look at a bowl of spaghetti and they're like, is at an enemy stand and you he punches the spaghetti. Wow. All right. Yeah, so Jay's favorite character Edda Monkey shows up. <laughs> he has a little jacket. Yeah, he has a cool little jacket and he's what what I like in the the Jap obviously the Japanese original and not the fan translation. He refers to himself as Oresama, mm. which we've seen this before with Grodomon is that he thinks very highly of himself. He's saying like Lord I. Well, does he say Lord Edamonkey in the English? I don't remember. Probably does. I probably... I read the Japanese one. Hmm. So, so yeah, if I miss anything, it's because I'm actually reading the the Japanese version because it's good for my Japanese and it's pretty basic. What I can't figure out about this Vimatema comic here is whether or not, like with Edamon's um, uh, little jacket, are those little bits of clothing accessories the Digimon chose or in this universe, is that part of them? I think he went to a shop. You see, that's that's interesting, but we don't know. We haven't seen any other Edamon. Mm. And we know later there's a Godzimon with pants. But did he put on those pants or are pants part of him? Because we know pants are part of Leomon. I, no, I think they just go... I just think they went to the shop. Same with the Elgamon boxing gloves. I don't think the Elgamon all evolved with boxing gloves. I think because, they must have. Look how no, many of them there are. I think they all went to the shop and bought some. I like the idea of Edamon... <laughs> Look, that's Ed- really Ed- cute, but that doesn't work. No, I love the idea of Edamonkey going to the shop and just saying, oh, hey, I want a jacket. And he gets a jacket and he's like, how the much is this jacket? Elvis ever. I, I can't do the I can't do accents. But yeah, I just like the idea that he goes to a shop and buys a jacket. So he shows up and says that there's a perfect Digimon at each location. It says baddies on the back. It totally does. And then he leaves. And but, I love him. And a monkey just leaves, though. He's like, yeah, cool. So I could kill you all right now, but instead, I'm just going to tell you what's in front of you, and then I'll, I'll I'll warn you, and then I'll go away. So he sounded pretty evil, but I don't think he's actually evil, because he just sort of shows him, like, yeah, okay, here's the tag. Here you he go. He didn't give it to him. He yeah, just, he's, he's still, you still have to do something for he warned, it. He just warned him, hey, they're, uh, they're guarded, you know yeah. that? Then in Chapter 5, Zeromaru is sad that his attack did nothing against the Edamonkey, and Deltamon and Dr. Animon show up. And Zeromaru beats them, and then a Pico Devimon is watching for Edamonkey. And also, the Pico Devimon's design is a little bit different to what we saw, and it's kind of adorable. I don't really, really paying a lot of attention to its design. No, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at all their designs. 
because I can't read the Japanese. I mean, I, I, I'm trying to, but no, I'm, I'm really noticing all the designs because some of them look quite different from in the anime. So then in chapter six, Taichi is dealing with Zeromaru's wounds with some medicinal leaves. Then a Triceramon shows up. Triceramon show, th- throws Zeromaru and he lands in his mouth, but because he's wearing these bitter herbs and bitter leaves that Taichi put on him and he licks it, he gets, like, distracted with the taste. He's like, Bleh. But this is another thing that was planned because Ta- when he's in the air, Taichi says, roll on your side. And it's foreshadowed because they're talking about how they try to find all the, the medicinal leaves, which they were just trying to eat all of them at first. Mm. Uh, they go, this one's really bitter. And so Gabo, like, bites into his and he's like, Bleh. Yeah. You should have warned me. Yeah, and that's really clever. It's sort of, it's, it's showing you something that's funny. It's like, hey, look, they tried to eat all the leaves. Isn't that funny? And then it's actually shown to, oh, remember, we, we, we were already told that I have to say extra, oh, that's right, they're, they're you know, bitter. And that would have been clever. like a sepia tone flashback yeah. in the anime for two whole minutes. Yeah, but it's shown before, and I prefer when it's shown before, not after. Mm. So in Chapter 7, Zeromaru fires a blast into Triceramon's mouth, Triceramon attacks, and Zeromaru can still sand because power of friendship. This is the one time that, like, power of friendship really comes in. And also... It's, but it's, like, kind of earned because you already had your clever moment. Mm. And also, it's not just power of friendship, it's determination, which is... Power it's, of friendship and determination are the it's same It's such thing. a shown-in trope of, like, no, I can still stand because I'm strong. And I think it's really cute. And Taichi apologizes for not being ready. And I really like this about his character when he's just... He's saying, oh, sorry, I should have been paying attention more. And it's showing him to be more than just a kid standing there watching his Digimon fight. Oh, we forgot to cover mm? that in the moment where Edamonkey shows up, Zedramon sh- throws his big attack at Edamonkey. You just call him Zedramon? Oh, Zedramon. Yeah. throws his big attack and it doesn't seem to hurt him at all. And until halfway through the bit where they're fighting the... Tri- no, the Tristaramon, the one before that. The two the two Digimon. Dark Tyranimon yeah. and Deltamon, yeah. It's about halfway there. He's just staring traumatized into the distance. <laughs> like, oh no. Oh, I'm not the most powerful Digimon out there. What mm. will I ever do? And Ty doesn't seem to care at all. He's just like, I like hanging in this spring. The water mm. sure is cold. <laughs> yeah, I love Zero Mario. And all the characters keep on calling him Puppy. Yeah, he's just a big dog. He's a big, he's a big dog. And that's what I like about... Gilmon and Zeromaru and to some extent Agumon in Try, hmm. how he just becomes a bit of a dog. And so Edamon shows up. No, 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 they abs- he beats Triceramon. Yeah, he, he beats Triceramon, then Edamon he shows up. Yeah, you say he acknowledges a victory. He does not. He says, ne- "If you beat the next one, I'll acknowledge your victory." Oh, because I, I read it as because I, I again I'm trying to read it in Japanese, so I interpreted it as him saying. Oh, I, I I guess I'll have to acknowledge your victory and no, give you this tag. No, it was next time. Oh, okay. Next time I'll acknowledge it. Right now you got lucky. So we're, also, st- we're still lost in translation, Mon, because it's the, the difference between the fan translation and... and bad reading Japanese. And, and my bad Japanese. <laughs> and then um, there's a bit where uh, they're, they're, he's... <laughs> Vidron's like, I'll take you, I'll take you anytime. And and was like, You you got so many bandages, you look like a mummy. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'll ride off in the siege run. That's, That's cute. the next one. Yeah. So Taichi gets a tag of Earth, and then in chapter eight, they go to the sea, and it's so fun. And Zeromaru tries to breathe on the water, but he can't, and a Gomon laughs at him <laughs> because he says this this is ridiculous. I mean it was. You you're being amusing. Because he he's, never seen the, he's never seen the ocean before. Mm. So he did not know you couldn't breathe when you're in it. Which is adorable because he's a puppy. He's like, can I, dr- can I drink this, this is drink? But it's also stupid because he's been around water before. Mm. Yeah, but it's... I'm just going to close my eyes and, and ignore that pat, that bit. Close he's my di- eyes and water. count. Two, two wolf. Yep, yep, I know. <laughs> Z- so, Gomon says that his name is Gon, and he tells them about that there's a demon that's attacking them. Not a demon, a demon. Yeah, demon. So... Gabamon says that he might have the next tag, and then Taichi and Zeromaru ch- train, and I think they're referencing that Pendulum commercial. Because they're doing the dance, that. and they're doing Mon Mon Digimon. Were they? Yes. I didn't notice. And it's, there must be... You can show it to me right now if you wanted. It's I, in this book. I mean, if I can find it quick enough. So, yeah, so just for a bit of a backstory for the listeners, there is a very, very old... Uh, commercial for the Digimon Pendulum toy, which came out alongside of V-Tamer. And it's these synchronized swimmers saying, Mon, Mon, Digimon, Digimon Pendulum, Pendulum Mon. And they're doing it here. Digimon, Digi, Digimon. And they're doing the same oh, actions. so it might be. Yeah, I think it's a reference to the Pendulum commercial. 
I don't think that's too far fetched to think that. So she hand me that. There's a piece of art I want to show you because it happens twice. And yep. The one really close to the beginning, and it's weird because I know what I know what it's meant to be, but every time I see it, I think it's the opposite. Basically, it's. Um, you have to talk while you're finding it, like I did. So it's interesting. It's radio. hard. Radio is difficult, yeah. guys. So I'm, tr- I'm gonna. I'll describe it. Basically, it happens twice when Tai when Taiji sort of claims victory. He's like, "Yeah, I did great." Oh, he has or his we book? did great. When he has the no, book no, out? no. The book is the book is an interesting little sub thing he does. No, it's this little red background thing that happens, and Vedron looks at him in a particular way. And I think what it's meant to be is them sharing like a comrade moment. Which is like, yeah, we did it, you know? Um, but I'm pretty... Like, when I see it, it just looks like Vidramon is saying, No, you didn't. It was me. There uh, it is. <laughs> it's adorable. No, it, it's, it's, yeah, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Because I think this is meant to be them being it's like... It's meant to be their, their, their friendship and relationship, yeah. Yeah, but he, it just looks a bit traumatized. Yeah, he does. He's a bit like, uh, you did it, huh? Yeah, no, it's... it's- it's cute. I always wonder, like, do, what did they take out of this, right? Did they take, oh, well, go, the Gobi mom was cute, so of course that'll be one of the kids' Digimon. Oh, well, Gabo with the Gabi mom was, was, was a big part of this, so he'll be the rival's mm. Digimon. Um, I don't know why they changed Vidramon, but that's not relevant. Because <laughs> Ogumon's cuter when it's in a group with boxing gloves. <laughs> that's true. So maybe they just took the most popular ones from the V-Pet and used those. Because in each of Could the be. Pendulum and in each of the versions of the V-Pet, we have at least one starting kids Digimon, except for the version 5. But with the Pendulums, definitely, each one has the has one of the kids' partner's Digimon. And, yeah. So, so that, yeah, they're training, like the Pendulum commercial. And then a Gessamon attacks, and Zero saves Gon. And Gon says that he wants to come along with, with uh, Tai Chi and Zero because he wants to get strong too. Then in Chapter 9, Zero can swim now because they've done lots and lots of training. And Wham on Need tells, a montage. Yeah, they, they had, montage. They had the, their montage of being the, the pendulum commercial. So Wham on tells them about Demon being a virus and Tai Chi and Zero are the vaccines. Tai Chi gets a Digivice called the Digivice Zero One, which can scan data. And this is why people who say that the, the first Digivice is the Digivice from Adventure, they can't call that the D1 because that's actually the D2. I guess. This one's weird. It's this big wrist thing. Yeah, it's like a watch. And it's funny because we know that Ty had like a regular Digivice, like the one with the, with, with Vidron in it. Oh, the V-Pet. That's yeah, not a Digivice. That's it a digi- is. No, that's, it's a, that, that's a digital it's, monster virtual uh, pet. Um, it manifested the Vidramon. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so he has this thing which, by virtue of lasers, can text message stuff directly into mm. his Digimon's brain. And scan data. And there's also another feature... Does it scan data? Like, what do you mean? It, 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 can scans, it, scans, it scans the health. Oh, it's not the... Yeah. But when you say scan data, we're watching Frontier, man. Oh, right. No, we're just, we're just ignoring Frontier for, like, this is our Can time. I do that forever? Yeah, just ignore Frontier happens. It's okay. We're halfway there. We're living on a prayer. Whoa. Whamon <laughs> dies, and because Whamon always dies... Seems that seems so. And he says that he was only waiting and he was only living to give Tai Chi the Digivice and to tell him this information and then he dies. So he's like, he's a plot device that's not even pretending to be anything else other than a plot device, which is fine. Yep. He just got like, oh yeah, I was just living to, to give you this thing. I'm not even going to die like being murdered by something. I'm just going to die. Then Octomon and Gessamon find them and Tai Chi c- can communicate through the Digivice and they defeat them. Then in Chapter 10, Gon has Wamon's Digitama. And he remembers that Wamon told Gon to protect the island, and Gon wants to fight. Taichi and Zero find Marine Devimon. Gon bites Marine Devimon and is able to distract him long enough so that Zero and Taichi can beat him. Which Gon- is also in a clever, interesting way. Yeah, and that's it's because it's this is a perfect level Digimon, and Zero Moro is a Vidramon, so he's only an adult level Digimon. So they're sort of using some tactical advantage, and it's nice. Well, they justify that Marine Devimon, his entire defense is that he's incredibly fast. Yes, but if you hit him, he'll just die, mm. which is. So not what happens in the show, but whatever. And so they they arrange it in such a way that they trick Marine Devimon into putting himself into a position that is perfectly logical, mm. but also opens him up to getting punched, mm. which is great. It was really good. Yeah. Then, the, so they beat him and Gon is injured, but he evolves to a Kakumon after the fight because he fought and I guess he's close to the Digivice, which gets gives him the power to evolve. And it's the cutest Kakumon I've ever seen in my life. It's a big fluffer. He has all this emotion in his face and it's so cute. Taichi gets the sea tamer tag from Edamonkey, who just arrives on the Seedramon, because why not? It's like, hello, you can have this, I guess. 
and I'll just go in. I can't. I can't swim. I, I say I can't swim. <laughs> what were your thoughts of V Tamer Volume One? Oh, so the whole time, it, first of all, I mean, like I thought the fights were very interesting. They were almost all really interesting. There were like two. There were probably less, but they were both. The, both of both those was, I guess, fine, given yeah. that they were sandwiched by good ones. Which really, I would like the writers of Digimon all the shows to have read this. Mm. Just to see what makes it interesting, um, and I, this is like this is a thing that like Naruto does. This is incredibly shown in the whole way through. Oh, it's very shown. But like Digimon could really use that, and I feel like it really stalls out and gets boring because they're really relying on yeah. But things are so weird that will be the entertaining part. Yeah, and that's the thing with Frontier that Frontier's always relying on. Hey, look at this digital world weirdness that's happening. And I like that Atmon doesn't focus so much on the weird stuff that's happening because it's focused mainly in the real world about these things in the real world. So. I guess the other thing was I just trying to spot okay what what what's what, what stuck what stuck around what changed what was big and what was small and I guess the thing is like you look at the tags right the idea of tags stuck around but they changed so fundamentally yeah that you know what where do they start with that you think uh, to me the just the only thing they kept was the word tag and yeah. the fact that they were like necklaces well these tags seem more to me to be like the seven code well these are more like dog tags which explains why they're called that because yeah. those aren't tags and i like how when taiji's told about them he says oh like the tamer tags which I don't know what that thanks is. for the product placement this is another thing you could have bought with oh. the uh, alongside your pendulum and your v pet toys you could also buy the tamer tag which has your special tamer identification number on it, and everyone mm. is unique and i have one disgusting Anyway, so there's that one thing I really noticed that was significant was that Digimon have names. Mm, yeah, they name themselves. This like, is well, they don't, they don't, it's, you don't know it's that. Zero, well, Gon and Gabo name themselves, but Zero Mars. You don't know that. I guess they, they could announce that yeah. they, they introduce themselves. Yeah. You wouldn't go up to someone and say like, "Oh, hi, my name's May," and they go, "Oh, hi, my name's my, my name's John." And you're like, "Why did you pick the name John?" Yeah. Okay. Good point. No, I, I see a point. So yeah, we have Gon and we have Zero Maru and we have Gabo and we have Edda Monkey and I think that might be it so far. Yeah. So the, I mean. I think so. Point is that they they do sort of name themselves mm. sometimes, which gives them lets them be unique characters. And not to say there aren't unique characters already, but I do think you know if you have an Agumon, there's another Agumon next to it. You don't have any v- verbal convention mm. for separating them, and that's weird. And I think that it's it's interesting they abandon that part. Mm. And I think the only other times we've really seen in the franchise a Digimon having a name is VV in Redigitize. I don't know what that is. It's a Vmon. She just calls it VV. Okay. Um, and I, I, again, I think it's interesting that Ty is alone. Um, also, his character is obviously a bit different. Mm. He has a cape once. It's on the front cover, yeah. But there's one bit where he has the cape, and then immediately he's in like the hot spring or whatever, well, in the in the spring, and he takes it off, and then he never has it on again. Oh, I love his little cape. Yeah, but he never. He only wears it once. I feel like he's just wearing it because he's like, I'm a protagonist. He literally says, "Look, guys, I'm a hero," and that's what I'm meant to do. Mm. And I think that's it's showing a bit of self awareness, which I thought was quite cute. Yeah. And then obviously that never reflects in the show ever. See, I I I really liked how it was smart. I also notice that they have different names and I liked that but something else I liked is I really like the way that they're drawn like all the characters have really cute emotional faces and I like the fact that they have characters like Zero Maru has a character he's a puppy dog Edamaki has a character Gabo has a character Gon has a character and then when Gon evolves he's a Kalkamon and he's got this adorable face Gabo's a big coward yeah he is and that's it's the government has a very different personality in Digimon Adventure as opposed to in Digimon Adventure V-Tamer because he's, he just, even though he's not voiced, he doesn't have the same, like, I don't know, the way of speaking, like, yeah, it's not even close. I'm Gabumon, I'm your friend. It wouldn't work. Hello, I'm Gabo. I'm a huge coward. But that's, that's just... I don't think we should fight them. Yeah, he's got more... He almost has like an Izzy or a Tentamon personality. Mm. He's like got that sort of like, oh, I'm the smart one. And he, you know, is thinking how uh, Taichi and Ziromaru aren't that smart. And he's like, oh, what can a puppy do? <laughs> I feel like he's he's the smart. He's like the Joe or the Koshiro or the Tentamon. Or... I don't know. It's hard to say. Mm. He's got but a things are different, basically. Do you have any, like, opinions? Like, do you think... Like, what was the thing that you told me when, when you came in the house before we started recording and I said, what did you think of V-Tamer? What is... What is what, I want you to tell the listeners what you said. Pretty sure I said, Gabo, Gabo, Gabo! After that. 
I don't remember what I say. You said this is the best. This is probably better than any of the <laughs> Digimon anime shows. It's probably way up there. Yeah, you said this is the best thing in the franchise that in you've shown me. In ten chapters, I enjoyed this more than most seasons of Digimon. I think I've derived more overall enjoyment out of Atmon, but I think that was over a longer period of time. Yeah, and Atmon did have some, you know, bad, like, not-so-good episodes. Yeah. I wouldn't say, like, bad, because they were still okay, but they weren't as good as other episodes. But I think what this also tells me is that, yeah, you really can compress the story down below 50 episodes and oh, all the have it be it. interesting in some way. I think that, okay, I like Digimon Cross Wars as a show. But a lot of people don't like Digimon Cross Wars. But the people who don't like Digimon Cross Wars have actually said that the manga Mm. for Cross Wars is infinitely better. Because it's shorter? No, it's actually longer. What? It just has stuff that you needed to know. Yeah, it has all this extra stuff. Like, I believe the some of the Digimon get transformed into humans at some point. Ooh, that's so I haven't, Well, we'll get there, won't we? I haven't we? actually read it. I want to. I don't uh, own it. Well, aren't we going to get there in, like, three years? Oh, yeah, well, no, we'll get it eventually, yeah. Probably. In fact, wait, hold on. With the trajectory of the manga and stuff, are we going to run out of show before we run out of manga? Yes. Okay, so what are we going to do? Uh, we'll do it when we're covering Translation Moon. Are you sure? Or do you want to make that the weekly thing until we're done with it? Um, I guess we could do that. Yeah, we could do this as a weekly thing and then if we're not watching anything yeah if we're not watching anything because atmon will well, atmon will be done uh digimon tribe done probably yeah yeah and then we'll we'll still cover any digimon stuff that comes out but not like probably on a weekly basis but more like a nostalgic way yeah like in, in a, a sort of like huh remember when we had to watch all of digimon do you remember when it, we had to suffer all the time remember when we had to watch frontier Anyway, what are your favourites, like, in general, like, favourite things that are in Vtamer so far? Um, like, not just characters. I like, oh, I was going to say, like, Vidramon. Okay, you can say characters, um, yeah. Oh, I love Vidramon. I mean, the, the plot's boring, but no, the best thing about it, the absolute best thing is that the fights are all, are 90%, just clever, clever solutions delivered in a concise and interesting way. Oh, yeah, I love the fights. And as I said earlier, I love the way that they're drawn, and I love that they have names, and I like, I love this Tai Chi. He's good. Like, he's sort of slightly different to the Tai Chi we had in Adventure, and it's, but it's based off the same Tai Chi, obviously. He's got the same sort of outfit. Well, it's, imagine the Tai Chi in Adventure didn't like soccer, but instead... We don't know he doesn't like soccer. No, no, but instead, well, he's never mentioned it. Instead of that, he was all in on, you know, the competitive scene of these Digimon yeah. V-Pets, which in the show doesn't exist. So yeah. obviously that's not an option. Yeah, but the thing is, Digimon do exist, and he knows about Digimon. Yeah, he comes in with full information, but like you can fully accept that because it's a real world product that you might know about if you're reading it. Yeah, and it's really cute that he's like, "Oh, I don't actually own the Digimon Pendulum, so all these Digimon are from the Digimon Pendulum," and that's so cute. And the sort of face he makes is like, "Well, I don't actually have that one yet." Yeah, but he comes to say like, "Well, I did my research though, and I'm aware of them." Yeah, and oh, what's something else that I like? Because there was oh, I forgot, I forgot, but there's mm... there's God. <laughs> they just refer to God. It's yeah. not even a God Mon, it's just God. But I feel like Digimon Next also has a similar start for memory. But yeah, that's that's basically volume one. So next time, which is in a month from now, well a month and a week because we're moving this episode a week forward so we can do our birthday special, which is next week. And so yeah, we'll be covering volume two, which is called Disc Two. And we'll see what else that Tai Chi gets. Well he gets all the other Tags will Edamonkey go nuts and kill him? I don't know. Go and, bananas. But just a quick question. No, Jay, nothing, no love for that. <laughs> yes, he will go bananas. At B A N A S N A S. Uh okay, what about what do you prefer? X Vmon or Vidramon? Do I know X Vmon? X Vmon is evolved from Vmon? I don't know. I guess Vidramon. Have, have, have because you blocked he's... Zero Two out of your mind? Yes. <laughs> and so far, do you prefer Tai Chi or Tai Chi? Um I because I've known the adventure one longer, I mm. have been able to develop with that one. Mm. So the link dumps in the description. You can contact us and stay updated. You can email us at lostintranslationmon at gmail.com or you can comment on this episode or message us on SoundCloud. You can follow us on at Translation on Twitter and you can find us on Lost in Translation on Tumblr, Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. We have a discussion thread on With the Will and a Reddit thread in the Digimon subreddit. And we'd really appreciate if you were to review us on iTunes, Stitcher or wherever you listen to your podcasts. We also have a website so you can check that out. And this episode is 100% because of our loyal Patreon supporters who got us to the cover the manga milestone. And you can donate to the Patreon, which is linked in the description. And you can start doing that from a dollar, like as low as a dollar a month. 
and that gets you entrance to our listener Slack chat group. But high levels get, th- get you things like exclusive notes, information, early and unedited episode recordings. So they have us saying things that we should be sa- should not be saying. <laughs> the ability to suggest discussion topics, Skype calls with May and Jay, and more. And thank you to our Patreon supporters, Sam Krieger, who has a podcast called The Moncast, which talks about Pokemon and Digimon. Uh, I've lost it. Stevie on YouTube, Stevie, who is on YouTube, and you can find the link to their channel in the description. Wu Qinglong, who can find it at twitch.tv forward slash Wu Qinglong. Metal Mamimon, Joe, Anime Guy, who is Anime Guy Kurosaki and the number one on YouTube. Chuck Mon, Iswal Bamba, Hiro Lada, who is at Hiro Lada on Twitter. Jason Morosky, Ryuchi, who is Frost Magic on Archive of Our Own. Stephen Reeves, who is at Wildwing64 on Twitter. Kaidawashi, Mac, Noam, Riku, Red and Garen from Breakfast with Digimon, which is another Digimon podcast, which you can find on SoundCloud. Chisai, who you can follow on Chisai236 on Tumblr. Corey, Kyle, Delady Bugman, whose anime blog you can find at bagubaragu.wordpress.com. Small Wolfie, who's on Tapastic as Small Wolfie and has a comic called Eden of Melancholy. Tom, Glitchcoat, and Azrael McCool. You can also make a one-off donation on PayPal, which you found linked in the description. It's paypal.me slash And make sure to let us know for the podcast. We'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye-bye!